Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to a video that's going to be exploring guitar strings and how they sound. So in an earlier video we looked at these strings which are the dragon skin strings and we looked at them when we first put them on the guitar. So now I'm about to take them off, they're pretty dead, uh, I think it's about time that I put on new strings. So I just want to let you hear what they sound like still. Every, every string is still a dragon skin string, so one of the benefits of these strings is they seem to last a long time. This has lasted well into the phase where I would, I would qualify the strings as dead. Um, but Um, as you can see, it still has a pretty good tone, um, but part of that is because we're running direct, and I believe there's a, a little bit of an effect on the direct input, and I'm running into uh, logic, and so I'm able to have an EQ on it, I'm able to have, let's see what's on, what's on here, how much... There's a reverb on there, there's a compressor, and there's two different e EQs. Um, so this, this is helping with the tone, and in addition to coming through direct, through the DI, it's also coming in through this mic. And so that combined is getting a, a, a little bit of a crisper tone than you're gonna hear live in a room. Um, but for me, as long as my pickup in the guitar is a reasonable one, which is the LR Bags Anthem, which I'm pretty happy with. I think it's a solid pickup. Uh, I've been curious about these, uh, is it Mayton uh, uh, guitars? They have their own kind of pickup that comes with Mayton guitars, which apparently is the best. And I'm really interested in that being my next guitar as a Mayton guitar. But a pickup can do a lot for you. Um, and so if you've got a really good pickup, uh, you can run it through a PA and still take dead strings and get a reasonable tone. At least that's my opinion. Um, I think there's there's nothing uh, nothing can take the place of brand new strings. And so there's a quality that comes along with brand new strings that you don't get if you've got dead strings, whether you're going into a PA or not. But for me, for my performance purposes, if I've got if I'm running through this pickup into a, a mixing system where I can make some adjustments, then I can get a tone that I'm happy with, even with dead strings. But these ones are starting to get a little bit dead to the point that I think it's gonna be a lot better to get some new strings on there. Uh, give me a little more versatility in what I can get in the, in the uh, I guess I'd call it, call it dynamic range of, or maybe the tonal range of the guitar. So, um, you heard the old strings, now we're going to put on the new strings. I've already taken the old strings off. Um, this device here, this is a wire cutter and it's also pliers. The first thing that I, that I do when I change strings is loosen the strings. You loosen the strings down here on the head. So I loosen these. Then come in and actually use these to grip the peg, pull it out, and then pull the string out 
unwind it, and the strings are on the floor. The old strings are on the floor. And we've got our new strings here. Let's see if I can focus this a little better. There we go. It's got cool packaging, so why not try them? Phosphor bronze, extended life, natural feel. It is what it is. Oh, sweet, I've got a sticker so I can throw this on the wall. All right, so we're gonna take a string. This is the A string. We're gonna put it in the slot for the A string. Take a peg. Pull it out. Make sure it's nice and tight. Cinch it down. Now, we're actually gonna go up to the head. I want to make sure the string goes into the slot designated for the A string. And then I wrap on the inside and I wrap it around once. I wrap, and then I pinch it here with my, with my index finger. I'm pushing the, the string down. As I loop around, I'm going to loop around twice. I'm actually using the, I'm using the skin right here on my finger, not the fingernail. Pinch down the string, wrap around three times. Push that down one more time. I'm using the thumb, my thumbnail as well, to actually push down and get it into a place where I can then hold it down with my index finger. So that wrap the loop around three times. Now I'm taking the end of the string, looking for the access area, which is right here. Put it through. Make sure it goes over all the, the winding string. Make sure that this goes over the top. Now I'm going to pull it through, pull it tight, okay, and now once it's there, I can let go and I'm going to start tightening it, I'm going to start tightening it here. So we're tightening it, boom, boom, dun. that's the sound it makes when you tighten, boom, boom, boom. Alright, then what I like to do is just to check that it's tight, I don't do any tuning right now, I can see that it's tight. Now if you take a look here, you're going to see... This is not wound tight. It's still got a lot of gaps. So now what we're going to do is actually take this and twist it like this. Twist it this way. Twist it like that. And then tighten it again. Just checking the tonality just to see that it's nice and tight. All right, now I'm going to twist again. You hear it go down? Okay. We'll tighten it back up. All right, I'm gonna twist again. See here, here it go down. Now the reason the reason for doing that that's my technique of putting strings on, because the two most important parts for me are getting those those three winds around before running this through. You could just run this through and then twist it. But the issue with that, as I understand it, is it puts more strain on the string at that point at which it goes through. And it get, makes it much more likely that your string is going to break while you're playing. So you put those three winds and the strings are going to last a lot longer. Um, so that's the reason for doing that. And then the reason for twisting like this is that you get all that looseness out of, out of these winds and the reason you want to do that is because if you don't, it's going to happen while you're playing and you're constantly going to be retuning and you'll even hear moments where the string slips. And uh, so you do this, that's going to make it where you don't have to tune nearly as much and you're not going to get any unwanted noises while you're playing. So we'll do it a couple more times. It's basically there. All right, and then that's that exact process. It's rinse and repeat for every string. And then we're going to come in and clip. I could have clipped that one a little bit lower, but clip the end off of the string off. I strummed it literally a second before uh, that strum and it's already out of tune. So, and that's after tuning it a couple of times. Got to do it again. E string's holding pretty good. 
That's to be expected. When I play out, I wear a hat, and you don't you don't get to see that. So. <laughs> All right, that sounds pretty good. I wasn't like the the first one I put it on, but. Already starting to go to Acoustic bronze Diodario XT acoustic strings, 12 to 56 gauge. Off of playing them for as long as you just heard, I think they feel like good good strings. Um, I've used the Diodario strings a lot. I used the coated the coated strings. I think like me, uh, medium light gauge for probably a few years. Um, I liked them because the tone preserved in the strings. For a reasonable amount of time and I would only have to change strings maybe once every two to three months um, and I didn't and they didn't break on me um, so I've been pretty happy with the Diodario strings I had a lot of strings break on me for for years and it's, it, in particular I, I don't know exactly why maybe it's something to my uh, with my guitar but in particular the G string would break a lot and I haven't had that problem um, I recently used a pair of earthwood or a set of earthwood strings not this particular one but another one uh, Ernie Ball strings and I've got another set that's an, another gauge of the same string that I'm gonna try after these ones and I broke a string on that within I think two or three weeks uh, pretty quick maybe maybe two weeks um, so I'm pretty happy with these ones. I, I gotta say the dragon skin ones were pretty good. Right out of the gate, they sounded good. They didn't sound too bright. I feel pretty good about these ones too, though. They, if you hit them hard in, the, in a certain way, they do kind of jump pretty, pretty strong, uh, maybe too strong. Um, so maybe a, a day or two into having the strings on the guitar, they're gonna feel a little bit better. But I, I like what I'm, I'm hearing out of here. So. So far, so good with these ones, and I, I, in particular, I'm excited about these because I wanted to get away from the coated strings because I, I hear that the coated strings do diminish tone to a certain degree. So I, I was one to try to find a non-coated string that has longevity and, and probably stick with those. So that's my goal with going through a lot of different strings is to find a non-coated string that lasts, has good tone for as long a possible time as, as possible. I uh, said possible two times in a row. But that's it for this video. Thanks for checking it out. Like, share, subscribe. Go hang out at other videos. You guys have a great day. Peace out. Rock on. Surf's up. Get in touch if you want to book live music or a kite surfing lesson here in Charleston, South Carolina. See you guys in the next one. Note Ukule Estamos feliz y perdido en que sería